Hey, what's up and welcome to Hack My Growth. Today we're going to be talking about the four P's of marketing and how they apply to businesses online. So if this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and haven't yet hit subscribe, we would love for you to do so now and have you join our community. We publish new content each week to help you grow your business online in the most practical ways. So we're going to talk about the four P's of marketing today. And those four P's are product, place, promotion, and price. These four P's are essential to having success and making sure that your product or your service gets to the right people and actually allows them to take the right action. The action that's going to help you promote the business, promote the product, and, and really make some money as well. So when we do this in the traditional sense of marketing, you know, there's a lot of things coming to play. And, and a lot of bigger businesses typically go or into this route and do a little bit more planning. But this doesn't mean that smaller companies or companies online shouldn't also think about these four basic principles, these four P's that we can really understand and then allow us to help inform the decisions we're going to make. So the first one is product. When you're designing a product, you're trying to find the type of product you want to sell online, it's important that you understand what your audience is looking for and what they need. Yes, every once in a while you're going to create something that they didn't know they needed, but to be honest, this doesn't really happen all the time. You're not uh, you can't just count on being you know, a Steve Jobs or a Henry Ford and creating something people didn't think they knew they needed. But what you can do is look at the industry, look at your talents, see where you fit up well, and see what you have to offer. Maybe it is a widget, maybe it is a book, maybe it's a course, uh, maybe it's a software. And understanding the type of product that your users would use is going to allow you to position that product much better in the marketplace. You have to remember online, there's a lot of different ways to sell. You could pretty much sell anything online. You just got to make sure that there's a product market fit when you're finding the right products. The second thing is place. So where are you going to sell this? Traditionally, this is where people would buy uh, places in a grocery store, like a certain shelf, like a product promotion shelf, or inside of a, of a big box store like JCPenney's and um, you know, Sears that used to be around, things of that nature. Well, today, obviously, the landscape's shifted. So where are you going to place your product? You know, there's some basic places, your website. But then you've got to talk about how you're going to get people to your website. Maybe it's social media, like Facebook, things of that nature. Maybe it's going to be something like Amazon uh, or another marketplace website like that where you can buy some placement or set up a place for somebody to shop. Now, the big key there is to make it easy for them to purchase your product, to take those steps necessary to make that commitment to you. The next P is promotion. Now, we've got a product, we've got somewhere to sell it, but now we've got to get people to that. And a lot of people typically just go online and say, how do I promote product online? Well, as we've talked about a couple times in this show, that's not really the best way to do it because everybody's different, every market's different, every segment is different. So you've got to do your homework and understand where the people are, and then you know where to target. And then another one, kind of a subset of P and your promotion would be be persistent in your promotion. SEO isn't going to take a couple days, a couple weeks. It could take a year, a year and a half to get going. The same thing with social media. If you want to do social selling well, you have to be authentic, which means you've got to be on time, uh, online all the time and answering and engaging. Know your platform, know the channels you want to go at, and then be persistent in that promotion. And the last thing, and this may be the most important thing, it's price. You don't want to price it too low. You don't want to price it too high. So you've got to understand what people want, what they're willing to pay for a product. Now, this is where A-B testing is really cool about online. Uh, when you're shopping in a, in a traditional sense, you can't just put um, two different, two of the same products on a shelf and price one at $5 and one at $10 and see what people would buy. I mean, no brainer. People would see that and they'd go, okay, I'll buy this one. But with A-B testing, you can segment your traffic and you can say, okay, you know, maybe people pay 10, maybe they'll pay five and you'll be able to run some tests there and understand what's actually going to be the best price for your product so you can increase your margins and also deliver value to your customers. So this is a short but very quick and hopefully very helpful orientation to the four P's of marketing. And once again, they are product, place, promotion, and price. Make sure you begin to think about these concepts, whether you already launched your product or you're getting ready to launch your product. They're going to help you make sure that you got it in the right place at the right time to engage with the right type of people. Until next time, happy marketing.